Hello, in today's video I'm going to talk about all the natural remedies for painful periods, also called dysmenorrhea, that so many of us women suffer from at different times of our life. So I think it's a very important topic to cover and let's get started. Most cases of bad period cramps are caused by excessive amounts of a hormone called prostaglandin. Prostaglandins have so many different functions in our body from formation of blood clots and controlling inflammation to um, starting labor in somebody who's pregnant and causing uterine contractions and that's just a few of the different functions there are so many more so what happens when there are too many prostaglandins is that the uterus will start contracting uncontrollably way more than it should and in fact a lot of women with bad period cramps say that the pain of the cramps is comparable to contractions of childbirth and it makes sense because prostaglandins are involved in both of them they cause both of them so the pain is very similar so the aim of the game here is to reduce those levels of prostaglandin sure there are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen or birth control pills which both control the levels of prostaglandins but in this video i'm only talking about natural remedies and trust me there are quite a few so let's dig into those first first thing to mention here is zinc low zinc will cause uh, painful period cramps and that's because zinc is very closely involved with um, the control of levels of prostaglandins and it's also anti-inflammatory. There has been a study that showed that taking 30 milligrams of zinc every day for three to four days before the period actually got rid of any kind of premenstrual tension or cramps in most of the women which I think is amazing and it's definitely the first thing I would try personally. Um, the only thing is that, as I talked already in my previous video, zinc is actually known to deplete copper, especially if taken in high doses and for a long time. So it's very important to combine zinc with copper at different times of the day. The next thing I'd like to share with you in this video is bromelain. is an enzyme found in pineapple. Cooking or heat actually destroys most of bromelain, so it needs to be either completely raw pineapple or bromelain supplements, which might be easier to get hold of. Bromelain actually reduces the amounts of, of prostaglandins. And so many women have noticed that if they eat some fresh raw pineapple during the period, their cramps vanish. And that's because of this magical bromelain. It's a good idea to start taking it at least a few days before the period and then during the period and hopefully that will help you control those levels of prostaglandins. The only thing is that bromelain can make periods heavier in some women, so you'll need to keep a close eye on the amount of blood you're losing, and if it's too much, then it might be this. But for other women, it doesn't affect blood loss at all. The next remedy I want to mention is Dong Kwai. It's a herb from traditional Chinese medicine, and you know, in the West, it's thought that period cramps are caused by high levels of prostaglandins, just like I said at the beginning of the video. But instead, in the East, in the traditional Chinese medicine, is believed to be caused by stagnant blood. And Dong Kwai is great for that because it nourishes the blood, increases, improves the blood flow. So it basically brings more blood flow and more oxygen into your uterus and all the reproductive organs. And so the blood is able to flow out better and you have less pain. But it also regulates prostaglandins, so it's great if you have beard cramps. The next thing to mention here is turmeric or curcumin, which is this extract, and it's known to reduce the synthesis or the production of, um, of prostaglandins, that's why it helps the pain, but it's also anti-inflammatory. And the last thing to mention in this category is flax seeds. It's advised to take a couple of tablespoons of flax seeds throughout the cycle and that should really help you with the pain because flax seeds are known to reduce the production of prostaglandins as well without even mentioning all the other amazing health benefits of the humble flax seeds. So these are all the different things that can help with the prostaglandins but not all period pain is caused by prostaglandins and in that case there are a few other things that are really worth mentioning that are just basic remedies that are not connected to prostaglandins in any way. The first thing is wild yam. It has antispasmodic properties, which means that basically prevents those uterine cramps or spasms from happening. And it also promotes the production of uh, 
progesterone. So it's a great thing for women, especially with low progesterone and painful cramps at the same time, which is very, very common. The bioidentical natural progesterone cream is actually made, synthesized out of wild yam. So it's a very old and very effective remedy. The next remedy is apple cider vinegar and baking soda. They alkalize your body and really help get rid of those period cramps. So just take two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and uh, one teaspoon of baking soda, and mix them with half a glass of water and take that concoction for two weeks before your period and during the first two days of your period and that should really help. Another remedy is a really great tea that I discovered recently and I just absolutely love it. I love drinking it during my period and it's called Organic Monthly Comfort Tea from a brand called Earth Mama Angel Baby Organics. It's got a lot of different herbs that helps with uterine uh, cramps and contractions, whether it's during a period or postpartum. And it's got things like ladies mantle, which I mentioned in my video about heavy periods, also lemon balm, nettles and alfalfa. Um, ginger and cinnamon, which are all really good for all kinds of problems related to painful periods, heavy periods and things like that. So I got it from iHerb and it's not very expensive. It tastes delicious because of cinnamon and ginger. So it's a little remedy that I found really, really helpful. The next thing is something that also helped me a lot that I also mentioned in the heavy bleeding video. And that's a herb called Shatavari from the Ayurvedic um, tradition. It's a great women's tonic because it helps balance um, the hormones, but at the same time, it's also antispasmodic, so it actually helps tame those uh, painful uterine cramps. Shatavari actually helps increase estrogen levels, which is a god bless for those with lowish or low estrogen levels. But if you are estrogen dominant, then it's definitely not a herb for you. The next thing that can help is ginger. Just humble ginger. Just take a piece of it, crush it a little bit, dump it into a glass of water, leave it to steep for 10 minutes or so, and then drink it three times a day after meals. The next remedy is raspberry leaves. You'll just need to steep the dried leaves in a cup of water, boiling water for 15 minutes, and it actually tastes delicious. And it's super good for you because it tones the uterus. So that prevents those excessive cramps from happening. It's actually really, really effective. Another thing that really helps is warmth, any kind of warmth, whether it's a hot shower, a hot bath, or just a hot water bottle. If you are in the shower, then try to direct the stream of the water towards your lower back and your lower belly, and that seriously helps so much. It's also a good idea to avoid red meat and caffeine or any other um, stimulants during a period because they can make cramping worse as well. Now red meat can be not such a good idea because it contains arachidonic acid which is uh, which is what prostaglandins are made from and then stimulants are things like coffee, black tea, green tea, uh, chocolate, all of those can also make your cramps worse although for some women they actually help so as always every woman is different you'll just have to experiment for yourself and see whether it helps or make it worse another super helpful herb is cramp bark which is very correctly named and that's because it's primarily used for cramps so it's actually a uterine decongestant and it reduces any kind of tension pain cramps in that area and you'll need to take it for a day or two before your period starts and then during the period but even if you take it already when your pain is going strong it can still be helpful so it's one of the best remedies really and then there's also magnesium and potassium which are both known to reduce um, period cramps as well and for magnesium i mean both oral supplements and also magnesium oil to be applied topically which is so so helpful i made a video about how to make it in the past and potassium is known to also really help women with period cramps. So I think there was a study where women taking 400 milligrams of potassium a day actually completely got rid of any period cramps, which I think is amazing and definitely worth trying. And the last remedy to talk about is blackstrap molasses. Blackstrap molasses is, is amazing. It's a real powerhouse of nutrition. It has so many different minerals um, like calcium, iron, magnesium, copper, zinc is just amazing for so many different problems but a lot of women actually swear by it for the reduction of period cramps. 
So it's definitely something worth trying, especially because it's not really a supplement. It doesn't cost much at all. It's actually a food and it's delicious if you prepare it properly. So what I do is I add a tablespoon of it to a glass of hot water and then I add a tiny bit of milk on top and I drink it once a day, a tablespoon or two tablespoons a day throughout the whole cycle and that should really help your period cramps. So that is it for menstrual cramps. I really hope that some of these remedies will help you. And as always, I would just like to remind you that I'm not a doctor and you know, I'm not prescribing anything to you personally. So you will need to do your research and check any kind of side effects or contraindications. Be very, very careful and mindful about everything you're going to try. And in the next video in this series, I'm going to talk about uterine fibroids. A couple of people asked me to talk about it in a video, so I think I'll do just that. And I've also been thinking of making a video about the dangers of using non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen which is so common for women with menstrual cramps so if you'd be interested in that video and that topic then definitely let me know and i'll make it so thanks for watching i really hope this helped you and i'll see you in my next video bye